Hi guys, this is Andy from Estella's Revenge, and I'm here today with the Big Books tag. And I originally saw this tag from Christine at Viridian Reads, and she tagged anyone who wanted to complete it. And this is actually my very first book tag. So I'm excited to share it with you. Um, the goal of this tag is to show the, let's see, five of the biggest books that you have read, and two of the biggest ones on your stacks. And because I don't keep a lot of my books, and because I read a lot of chunksters on e-reader, which is sort of anticlimactic for these types of videos, I'm actually doing this backwards. I'm going to show you five of the biggest books on my stacks that I have not read, and I'm going to show you two of the biggest books on my stacks that I have read. So let us start with the ones I haven't read. First, I have a beautiful Penguish, Penguin English Library edition of David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. And I love Charles Dickens. I've read quite a bit of his work, and I intend to read this one hopefully before the year is out. It weighs in at almost a thousand pages, 970 or so. I also have a copy of Drood by Dan Simmons, keeping the Charles Dickens theme going. This is a historical fiction novel about Dickens' last years, and Wilkie Collins plays a role in this book, so I'm really excited to see what Dan Simmons comes up with for these two authors. I also have a copy of A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. And this is about India in the 1950s, and it involves four families. And this is a web of love, ambition, humor, and sadness, prejudice, and reconciliation, the most delicate social etiquette, and the most appalling violence. So this is a really huge book. I was supposed to read it with friends for a read-along. I kind of didn't follow through. It weighs in at 1,474 pages, so that will definitely keep me busy when I decide to undertake it. I also have Burning Your Boats, The Collected Stories of Angela Carter, and I really enjoy Angela Carter a lot. I read The Bloody Chamber and really, really loved what she did with fairy tales, and I have some more of her work on my shelves as well, but this one is one that I'm really excited to get to. She's a really talented, talented short story writer, and this is a baby in comparison to some of the others at about 460 pages. Let's see. Last but not least, The Glass Books of the Dream Eaters by Gordon Dahlquist. And I really don't have a great idea of what this book is about. Um, the inside flap says, Return to a time when a book contained the most intriguing adventures imaginable. So I think it's like a combination of like a Victorian setting with some sort of SF treatment, perhaps. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but it looked like a great book. It's one that my friend Heather gifted to me, so I'm a little bit ashamed that I've had it for a really long time and haven't read it. But this one weighs in around 750 pages. So, those are the books on my shelves that I haven't read. Two of the biggest books that I have read. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, and this is all of the books in one volume, which is actually how Tolkien attempted to have them published. The publisher kind of told him he was crazy and that no one would pick up a tome of this size, um, but I loved having them all in one volume. I split them up and read them over about three months' time, and this is one I will definitely reread. An all-time favorite, and I should put in a disclaimer here. This next book is one that I have not read, but it's one in a series of books that I have started reading. Um, I love, 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 love the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. They are a historical series about Scotland, the Scottish Highlands in the 1700s, and there is a time travel element um, that's really interesting. Um, and they're about Claire and Jamie. They're the main characters, and Jamie is the dreamiest Scottish Highlander ever. Um, if I could pluck him out of this book, I would. Um, <laughs> but just for the sake of example, this is An Echo in the Bone, and this is one of the, the later books in the series. I've read the first four. Outlander, Voyager, no. Outlander, Dragonfly and Amber, Voyager, and The Drums of Autumn. And I believe it was Drums of Autumn that was over a thousand pages long, and I sucked that book down in about five or six days. So I was trucking through that book. This one actually is only 800 pages, so 
yeah, it's still unbelievably huge. I'm so glad that I read these books on my e-reader or I might never have gotten through them. But I wanted to show you that one for example purposes because all of the books in that series have been seven, eight hundred pages plus up to like a thousand twenty-four. So yeah, definitely some of my favorite big books and those are some big books that have made me slightly less afraid of committing to a big book. Um, because if I love a big book, I will move through it really, really quickly. But if I don't, I'll back out and ditch it like I did with A Suitable Boy, sadly. So if any of you would like to undertake this tag, I would love to see what you have to say and see some of the big books on your shelves. If I were going to tag anyone in particular, I would choose Chelsea from Chelsea in a Book and Loquacious Reader, for sure. A new subscriber. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.